are here in front of World of Tanks, the Xbox 360 edition. I've got Dennis, who's a producer on the game. So tell me about the jump going from the PC over to the Xbox. Um, it's It's been a great experience. We knew that the maps, the tanks, have had hundreds of thousands of hours of actual playtesting from users out there yeah. uh, on the PC side. So we know what things that we don't want to really touch or really try to reinvent. What we did want to do was change the fact that, you know, the PC is very much a 12-inch experience sitting on a desktop to the 10-foot experience sitting in the living room. The booths here are usually pretty insane. The Activision one is just, is nuts. It, it is completely different. It's Bigger it's, is better in it, this instance. It's so damn big. Like, you, they got Diablo, like Destiny, but like Call of Duty and, and Skylanders. Skylanders. Uh, Call of Duty and Destiny is a live gameplay, if I believe. Diablo is playable. All right, Ray, you're playing some DuckTales. How do you feel so far? Very nostalgic. I haven't played this in, Jesus, what, like 15-ish years? <laughs> it feels uh, exactly like the other one. The graphics look amazing, and uh, it has voice actors, which is very weird. It's not just text, and uh, it kind of sounds like the guy who played Scrooge a long time ago. Uh, but I, I'm going to be honest, I thought he died. Apparently, he's still alive and uh, kicking, so having a good time with this. I really can't wait for it to come out. New York City always seems to catch like the rough end of things. It always seems to be getting destroyed or something. Something's always going wrong with that city. About, this game is about fixing New York. It's, it's, All right. it's, it's about hope. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're, we're breaking it a little bit at the start, but in the end, it's all it's all good. Cool, so. all right, all right. So, so it's gonna, I mean, is there, a, is there an end to your game, or is there going to be an end, or is it gonna be more of an open world type no, thing? We're, we're building it to be a, a perpetual game, so uh, okay. we're not setting up the structure like Division 1, 2, 3. We wanna add to this universe and this world, so it's more like the New York episode, I guess, if you wanna think of it at that, at that way. That's another Xbox One release title. I think that was the first Xbox One gameplay they showed at the press conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a lot yeah. of gameplay. Yeah. Reminded, uh, I know you said it reminded you of like uh, Call of Duty 2 and like Storming the Beach of Normandy. Very similar uh, yeah. kind of feeling to it. All right, so that pretty much wraps up our experience at E3 2013. Ray, how do you feel? Exhausted, but uh, that, that was my first E3. I was very excited. I liked the, uh, I liked everything we saw. We saw a lot of stuff. Not a lot of things. Uh, a lot of things we didn't see, but. Uh, you know, we did what we could. We're, we're two people. We saw a bunch of really cool stuff, met a lot of really cool people, and I think we got some really exciting stuff coming up for all of our fans out there. Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed E3, because you probably saw more of us, more of it than we did, honestly. Yeah, and actually, you know what? A lot of the games you saw at E3 might be at RTX, so go to rtxevent.com, and uh, we'll be back. Actually, we'll be back next year for more E3, we'll be back uh, next time for more videos on Achievement Hunter. See you guys at RTX. Bye.